So trap hasn't actually sturgeon fish before. I'm a rookie he's out a, here. A rookie. So, yeah. He's angled. He's, yeah. he's got a big chinook. Yeah. Big, big chinook. He's been up to the high to go a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Did some fly fishing last year. I said this is yeah. a different ball game today. Yeah, I'm, but I'm a total, I'm a total amateur, so. <laughs> That's good, right? no so we can bark orders at him. Yeah, he's coachable. Exactly. He's very coachable. coachable. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Some would say. Some would say. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. he'll go home with a couple of bruises. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, that's the plan. All right, let's go, boys. We're not going to catch him from here. Okay. Yeah. Some long rods from here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to say when I was sitting on the bench, man, I got to have a real long stick to get into this game. <laughs> you got to play all the time. That so. didn't happen that often. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right. So Trev and I have a really good relationship. We were teammates for a lot of years with the Vancouver Canucks, and we spent a lot of time going out for dinners and chatting on airplanes about, you know, other things and just hockey, just about life. and. He's always a guy I, I really appreciated talking to and had great conversations with. And I have a tremendous amount of respect for Trevor and what he's done here in the city, not only as a hockey player, but what he's done off the ice and his commitment to, you know, helping children and, and things like Canuck Place and several other charities that he's involved with. I mean, he really is uh, a phenomenal person. This one? Okay, this one run. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Well, Trev's into what we think is a pretty nice fish here. Uh, that rod's doing its work. Uh, Trev's working. Uh, oh. Uh, he was kind of gaining for a little bit there, but tough to tell. Like, they're all beautiful fish. Some are just bigger than others. <laughs> We're kind of catching the tail end of prime time out here, but we've had some great cooperation here last couple days with these fish. There's the tail. Oh. There's the tail. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. A nice fish, five and a half, maybe pushing six. We're gonna put him in the cradle here and we're gonna see if he's been tagged and then we're gonna release him right out the side here. No harm. This is a great system here for for these fish. They get nice and calm, relaxed in here. That's a 100 pounder. Don't Just have to drag them to the beach all the time. Nice. Let's do it right down this lateral side. Right to the fork of that tail. Is that good? Uh, 182. 182? Yeah. 182 fork length. There he goes. He's coming. Look at that. And he's gone. <laughs> wow. Nice, buddy. Awesome. So powerful, man. That's they're just crazy. like, when they, they're just like a one big mass of muscle. It's, it's unbelievable. I'm glad I worked. I've been training for this. <laughs> I've been training for this, so. Yeah. It's, it's amazing just how it, strong and powerful these fish the are. The power, when they decide to move, it's amazing. Like There's nothing it's just, you can it's, do. It's, it's uh, the weight that they put on that rod. I can't believe it. It's, it's everything you can to hold on to that rod. The sturgeon fishing to me is, it's a huge adrenaline rush. I mean, they are absolutely amazing creatures. Like prehistoric that haven't changed for hundreds of millions of years and they're a beautiful specimen. You know, I never take for granted getting out on the water with old friends and you know, you spend so much time together as, as teammates and, and then you kind of go your separate ways and you have your own lives and you know, everybody is so busy in the world today. So it's even more special when you can have somebody come out, you can reconnect and really just disconnect from the outside world and I don't think there's anywhere better to take them than out on the water. He's another spunky six-footer. Hold on. Well, I'm trying. There he comes. Nicely, eh? Yeah. He's under that rod. Yeah, I'll move that. I'll get it. What other fish can you do this to? Like, really? Huh? Honestly. Nope. Look at that thing. That is torqued. That's the cork right yeah, That one there, where I pull that drag back. Wild. Wow, walk around. Well, I was lucky to, I was lucky to be in Vancouver when Trev came back to Vancouver. I remember that day vividly. That was six. Wow. Five, five, nice. Wow. That was a huge day for the team and the franchise and, and also the city to have you back in Minnesota. 
Yeah, it was fantastic. I was so freaked out. <laughs> you were so, freaked out? Oh, was Coming so back? Out. Was what so... was going through your mind? Oh, I was scared to death. I was like... So Brooke, you did the deal? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I was freaked out. I was scared to death. I was like, what am I what doing? What were you worried about just how I just people was, were going to... It was just weird coming back. I just didn't know anyone. I was like... The team had all changed. Yeah, it was right? a young group of guys and... How, you know, because you left on with the fans being so endeared to the fans and how... And I didn't want to come back and screw it all up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Make a mess of it. <laughs> come on, guy. Is that current's not helping you here on? Another, right. another great battle. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Good job, boys. Into the cradle. We had an incredible couple days here fishing. Anytime you go on a fishing trip and you have sore arms at the end of it, you know you're doing something right. Ron and Braden from Streamline guiding were incredible. Dialed right in, these guys are known for catching fish. They're true sturgeon monster hunters. Having the chance to kind of be in my hometown and, and getting out on the Fraser River, it was just an awesome experience. And, and the Fraser River is, is such an incredible river. For an industrial river, understanding the, the life and the ecosystem in that river, it just is mind boggling. Like all five species of salmon, sturgeon, steelhead, trout, and many other species of fish in this river. We have a obligation as sports fishermen and just the general public to understand the importance of this river. It's our job to make sure that we protect this river because it's irreplaceable and there are very few rivers like this in the world. <laughs>